and one thing led to another. I ended up finding her in the bathroom, and let's just say she looked like a totally different person. This person was literally the ultimate catfish. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to an insane story. So today's story all starts off my grade 10 year, and I remember in grade 10, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a major player, meaning that I would always try to pull many different types of girls, and honestly, it got to a point in my grade 10 year where I was, well, talk of the town between all the girls in my school and let's just say i had to go on a dry slate what does that mean well basically a lot of the girls in my school didn't want to hit me up anymore or talk to me because they felt kind of gross that i was literally the ultimate f boy but honestly at this point in time i really didn't care at that much because you know why hate the player just hate the game but at the same time i didn't blame them and i remember me thinking that nothing bad was gonna happen i remember one time i ended up going home and i decided to download this app called tinder if you guys don't know what tinder is tinder is like the online dating app that most people go to if you're ultimately super single and lonely there's so many different types of apps as well like there's hinge and there's there's so many different apps that you can try to hit up girls on and honestly it's not that easy as it seems but i remember there was one time where i ended up just downloading tinder for my first app online and as i was downloading tinder i remember i ended up making my profile really good i had a lot of good photos of me back when i was in high school and honestly a lot of people thought i was just naturally hot because of my amazing jawline that i had because for some reason back then jawlines were such a big thing and i remember literally the first day of me downloading tinder instantly at that moment i want to say like a week went by and i ended up getting more than 100 people swiping right on me now me knowing that i was getting a ton of different matches and stuff i was really happy about this but at the same time i'm not gonna lie a lot of these girls did not seem like who they were and a lot of girls that i was talking to well none of them really just want to be friends with benefits a lot of them wanted to have like serious relationships but me i was only in grade 10 so me getting into a serious relationship in my mind wasn't really a good idea but i remember one time i remember i was laying in my bed and it was like 12 in the morning and and I remember it was super, super late at night. And I was just swiping through Tinder just for the fun of it because it became like a daily activity for me. And as I was swiping on Tinder, I remember I ended up basically finding a girl that honestly looked really good in her photos. Not gonna lie, I will say this at the time, I didn't notice how much makeup she was actually wearing. But when I actually like, you know, saw her photos, she looked really, really good. So me thinking, you know what? She's hot. Why not try talking to her? I ended up swiping right on her and we matched instantly. And me and her, we actually were really compatible. In a way, me and her, we were able to talk about a lot of different things together and me and her we had really good conversations about life and you know just basic morals and stuff and how we we're both not looking for anything serious so at this moment i remember i decided to basically add her on another platform which was my snapchat and one thing led to another me and her we started talking even more i remember though when me and her were talking there was many things that were like major red flags when i added her like for example she didn't have like a bit emoji which is like the little icons that like snap has to like you know show what a person looks like she didn't make one at all and on top of that her snap score was super high but at the same time really Really, really sus at this moment i was thinking that this girl wasn't real and i had many many different suspicions because i actually got worried if this girl was actually her or not but i remember as time went on me and her would have different conversations and i remember there was one time where she told me oh bubba like you're so cute and i remember she would say this so often because i would always send a photo of like my face on snap because i was never scared to like just send a quick selfie to someone but for her well it was totally different i never got to compliment her back or riz her up the way i would usually for a different girl because well she would never snap me a photo of her face whatsoever she would only like send photos of when she was out with her friends and you know out in public but when she was at home and me and her were just having normal late night conversations she would never send me any photos of any type like not even just a basic selfie and that kind of made me concerned but at the same time i kind of get it maybe some people just aren't as comfortable with sending selfies i don't know comment down below if you guys like sending selfies but for me like i would send a selfie no matter when but for her she would just never do it so i found this on and i remember one time i decided to do this thing where i bugged her about it saying yo like do you like not send selfies like are you just like scared of like you know yourself at home or something wait what do you mean scared of myself at home that makes no sense but what are you on about oh nothing i'm just curious like i never actually like you know seen you or met you yet so i was just wondering like maybe want to like go out sometime she ended up saying yes and i remember she actually ended up sending me a photo but this photo was of her cherries not of her face so i mean hey at least there was something to look at not saying that's a good idea to send cherries through the internet but you know there was something i saw going on though i remember me and her we ended up planning a date literally the weekend of and we ended up meeting up at a cafe and when we got to this cafe i remember when i walked in i instantly saw her and she looked exactly like she did in the photos so in a way i was happy that i wasn't you know fully catfished but at the same time when i actually walked up to her and looked at her close up i started noticing that this girl was wearing way too much makeup to the point where the makeup was just more than a frosting on a cake and that's crazy to me like don't get me wrong i understand that girl 
girls like to wear makeup because they like to make themselves feel better but at the same time wearing it to the point where you don't even recognize yourself well is that really making yourself feel better or is that really just making up for how hideous you actually look at this time i didn't really notice it but me and her we ended up talking and me honestly i was attracted to her because she did look good with that much makeup on so me and her we started talking more and more and then one thing led to another i remember she ends up mentioning so i was just wondering after this uh do you want to maybe head back to your place at this moment i knew instantly what she was wanting to do and that was obviously do the devil's tango and me and her we ended up basically like actually going to go see a movie before we actually went back to my place because i need some time to you know let my parents leave the house so i remember i ended up basically like hanging out with her throughout that whole day and i remember it became like kind of like to the point where it was 10 o'clock at night because we went to catch a really late movie and the whole time during the ride back home i remember she was basically like really nervous about something but i wasn't sure what when we finally got to my place i remember instantly me and her we ended up going up to the bedroom and we ended up doing the devil's tango but i am not joking when i say this when we were doing it the whole time she really wanted me to make sure i don't touch her at all in her face whatsoever i found it really odd because like for example if me and her were making out she would basically push me off and not want me to do that even though we were doing the devil's tango so in a way like me and her we had like no eye contact or no contact at all with each other's faces and we ended up just doing it you know the way we were supposed to do it i guess i don't really know how else to explain the devil's tango but you guys can leave that to your own imagination actually don't that's still really weird but going on with the story i remember me and her we were doing it for like a decent three hours and then me and her both passed out it was super late at night and it was 12 at night and me i was just laying down sleeping until eventually i ended up up hearing a noise coming from my hallway now when i heard this noise i kind of got worried and suspicious of what was going on so i remember i ended up standing up and actually started heading towards the hallway to see what was going on and who was out there and when i walked out there i remember i started looking around and the more i walked around the more i didn't see anything because it was really dark out but then i ended up seeing the bathroom light on and the door closed shut and that's when i knew that oh this girl's definitely just quickly using the bathroom i remember i ended up knocking on it to check to make sure if she was okay and i knocked on it saying hey is everything all right in there like you you okay? I I'm good. Don't worry about it. All right. Well, just let me know if you need anything. Um, okay. Yeah. Just head back to bed. Did you sleep right now? Um, okay. And that's what I did. I ended up going back to my bed. I ended up laying down, but I didn't actually get to pass out. I just pretended to sleep because, well, I don't know. I didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable or weirded out that I caught her using the bathroom, which at the same time doesn't really make sense to be weird about because everyone uses the bathroom. Everyone poops and pees. But honestly, I didn't make it weird. And I ended up just basically staying in my room and I ended up pretending to sleep. I remember like 20 minutes later, though, she ended up coming back into my room and she ended up laying down right beside me and at this moment i'm like oh okay like cool she's back in the bed now i can actually you know make sure everything's okay and just pass out but then the weirdest thing ended up happening and i'm not joking when i say this this was so odd to me because she ended up basically literally always throughout us sleeping she would always face herself the other way she would never put her face towards me or look at me whatsoever she would always like basically her back was always turned towards me and i found this really weird because like what if i want to go for round two of the dude Tango. Like, what is going on? And then that's when I started to realize that this girl was probably hiding something. Maybe a secret freckle. Maybe it was like, you know, a weird nose job that she had. Like, I don't know. This girl definitely was hiding something of the sort. But then I remember me, I decided to like get up and head towards the bathroom. So that's what I did. I got up. I went to go use the bathroom myself. And at that moment, when I came back from using the bathroom, literally 10 minutes later, guys, I ended up walking back into my room. I saw that she was not even there. She wasn't on my bed. She was gone. I was so nervous and I was so scared and i remember i started walking around my house looking for her and i remember it got to the point where i ended up going downstairs to my kitchen and when i walked into my kitchen i saw there was a girl with the most hideous face i've ever seen grabbing a glass of water and she had the light on and i remember i looked at her saying what in the world and that's when i realized this girl was the ultimate catfish like i am not joking she went from looking really hot to looking like like a beast like i'm not joking like this is crazier than like the beauty and the beast transition this is like the beauty to a beast transition like it was so it was so scary and i remember i ended up looking at her with my eyes wide open and she looked at me saying what what, what what's wrong and i remember she ended up turning her back towards me and i said i have a question how much makeup do you actually wear and she took serious offense to that and i remember she ended up calling a cab instantly at that moment and driving back home i remember i didn't really feel bad at all because well i'm not gonna lie to you this girl was ultimately hideous like i am not joking for girls out there that wear makeup you don't need to wear that much makeup look natural so us guys don't get fooled by how much you have to wear and yeah all i'm gonna say is is that i ended up blocking her after that because obviously i didn't want to interact with her whatsoever after that whole weird situation but all i'm gonna say is is that guys if you guys want to make sure that you guys don't fall for a catfish like that girl was just fall for more embarrassing stories peace out guys